Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Which is not necessarily affiliated with Hope's Peak. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. A prank? Wait, what? That was a prank? Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. And around then, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. Until the light was extinguished by Makoto. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Well, that's what Junko does. Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, Big Brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other warriors of hope were just bonuses. <laughs> well, she was the leader. Of course Junko's going to gravita gravitate towards the leader. D don't make stuff up! Big Sis loved us all! Love? What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Your own parents didn't even love you. M Monica is savage. Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it. Stop, big brother. It sounds like he's like peeling Velcro. Uh, at first, Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass produce machines so that she could use them for the tragedy. So th That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas. That makes a lot more sense. I always wondered, because wh why Toa Group was making Monokumas whenever the Monokumas were also all over just Hope's Peak, which were, was apparently unaffiliated. Concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. Just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told him I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. And the adults actually bought that story? Hey, why wouldn't they? It's a type of robot they've never seen before. No, it's more like we turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious, with a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her do whatever she wanted. This brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Junko so happy. She started using them for the incident. Yep, I was there for that. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. This. This does make a lot of sense, although I, I, I liked Monokuma back when he was a singular entity and not just an army. It is very, very odd to me that Monokuma is just a legion now. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Oh no, she's threatening Toa Group. You're already dead. Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. Wait, what? And you actually believed her? You made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. Huh. Just what a filthy demon would do! 
We didn't have a choice. We we're in too deep. You had a choice, man. The truth will set you free. If we went against the despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned or extinct. Anyways, Toa Group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. Sounds like America. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because... They were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. That makes a lot of sense. And actually, that gives a lot of context to how... Because the, the, the whole Danganronpa 1 didn't make a lot of sense because there were so many Monokumas hidden around the school, just randomly. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. You better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Really? Well, I'm gonna have words with him the next time his ghost shows up. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were gonna get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. <laughs> I love her little pouty face. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary. But Papa just said it's over, and gave up, like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. You couldn't forgive him for that, could you? Well, of course That's not. That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. She is so... Uh, I think I may like her more than Junko in terms of villainous. Because Junko is just... Like... Uh, I don't know what the... Histrionic despair. You know, she was just absolutely full of a devotion to the ideal of despair. But Monica, at least, is much as a much more fleshed out character. Junko is despair because Junko is despair. You know, it's just it's like a core part of who she is. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. It almost looks like there's reverse swastikas in her eye. And I think it's boxes. I also know that in Japan that's a symbol of hope. Um, although, I wonder if a dis reverse one is anything. Monica is so grateful to the Warriors of Hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. It was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Oshima's legacy to end. Well, I've got bad news for Monica. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Everything. Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War. War is despair? I would, th I would think, I mean, war is bad, but I would think, like, starvation is more despair-inducing than war. Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? 
War? What are you talking about, brat? Yeah, war with who? No one has any weapons anymore. You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Why is she so eager for me to break it? Break the controller, then start a war. What? Wait, why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Oh, hey, don't call Monica a liar. You told me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now. Huh? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. I mean, if it's going to cause a war, I think we have an obligation to be cautious. God, is it seriously going to ask me again? Has it seriously not figured out I'm not going to break it? No, I'm not breaking the damn controller. Stop asking. <laughs> So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? Well, yes, yeah, she knows what she's talking about and you don't. It's not like that! But please, wait! I remember! Remember... what? A while ago, Monica and Kuro Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case... This is very bad. Very, very bad. What are you talking about? Yeah, get to the, the point. The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. So that's what... That's what, She said she just remembered it, but earlier she said that the kids would... The No, 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 no. Um, it was Monica that said the ending with, you know, the destruction of the Monokuma and the Monokuma kids. Explode? If you destroy the controller, the Monokuma stop, but all the Monokuma heads will blow up, and then headless children everywhere. Oh come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made-up bullshit? Why are they all wearing it then, dude? Monica's theme every single time. Do, 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 do. Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed. Bitch. A rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious. I heard it. No, and that's, that explains why she's been pseudo pushing me to destroy the controller the whole time. That's enough. Destroy that thing already. Haiji, you're stupid. Because that she brought me here specifically so I would destroy it, I think. Get all eyes on me, and then have the symbol of hope be the like ultimate harbinger of despair. I'm not doing it, game! Stop asking! Basically, you want to have Don't Break the Control be the top option or something. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. Yeah, but is the like lives of thousands of children worth a, a guess? But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. The kids wearing those helmets, they're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault! 
Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? People with consciences. Huh? After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly. Even if they all died, they had it coming! Yep. So says the person in charge of the group that caused all this. You know, it, it's one of those things, It's I understand his frustration, and I don't blame him for what happened, but he is really not in a position to talk about how other people deserve to die over this. You've seen what they did to us. They deserve it. You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am. But how could I not be? After what they did to us. Not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. Well then what's the point of doing getting it then? Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. They're still all saying that? None of them have considered and been like, wait. Our loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. Mm, no. <laughs> you are... You're our hope. Please, don't betray us. Is Haiji in it with Monica? Did they set this up? I mean, it, it, it seems really weird that he is this adamant about destroying it, but he's not just taking it away from me. Destroy the controller, please. Please, just end this for us. We just want it to be over. You've already won! It's over! <laughs> Hold on a minute. You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? Are you talking to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. Interesting. That is not what I cued in on. What? The children are killed. What would Future Foundation do when they found out? They think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. Interesting. That's a massive logical leap. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with a war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? <laughs> we distracted her, now she'll reveal her master plan. Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world. They'd learn about the war in Toa City, and they'd come charging in. Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko and Oshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She's unfortunately deadly serious. That's an interesting plan. I kind of liked it more without the extra information where it was just trying to trick Komaru into killing all the kids with the entire world looking on. She can't be... she's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Hmm, I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? 
child victims have quite an impact on people. God, her eyes are so freaking creepy. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. Interesting. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? So that's why they intentionally went out and had the kids kill their own parents. Wait, then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. But yeah, they were specifically not targeting. Interesting. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing. Growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. Good job, Kamaru. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. It's usually a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watched their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! Oh, that is twisted as hell. That, but it's an awesome way to think about it. They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. as hell. Why is this happening? It's because they've been waiting for you to destroy that controller for so long. What? Those people out there don't care whether or not the heads of the children are gonna explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. And she's so excited about oh my god. This is probably the most despair-inducing game of the trilogy. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. Fault? M me? It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Komaru Nayagi. What are you talking about? It's not Komaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away! Yeah, and she used reversal psychology. She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself! Then she would have her war! No, that wouldn't do! That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? Yeah, it has to be the symbol of hope that starts the war. She stood. Monica stood up. That's not important right now. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So anyways, what are you gonna do, hmm? How are you gonna end this? Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior? Or are you gonna spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Neither. Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die. And you're going to kill them. <laughs> now there's, there's gotta be a way out. Now it's about time you made your final choice. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely!
can't I just disable them? Because that's the thing, if, if it legitimately was, do I kill off the kids and disable the Monokumas, or do I let the Monokumas keep slaughtering the adults? But the thing is, the adults certainly seem like they're okay. They're just standing in the street and no one's attacking them. No. No, it's impossible. I... I can't break it. No, you're gonna break it, all right. Monica knows. Monica doesn't know crap. You're not me. No, you're not my head. Huh? You're gonna destroy the controller, and then the children's heads are gonna explode. And that's when the war begins. And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair, will be born. You don't know that. And like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first. <laughs> There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Juko! Kotoko, when did I ever say that Monica wanted to be the successor? Yeah, I, I, it's going to be um, Komaru, which is also one of the reasons they want Ultimate Hope and Ultimate Despair to be siblings. Huh? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor. It's gonna be Miss Komaru Naegi. Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? And what could be more despair inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? Yep, exactly. So, the one who's gonna murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What, what are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. It's like paint by numbers to genocide. We've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to future foundation. Is it really genocide? Is there like an age aside? With Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komaru Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko. What do you mean? Why would I? Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. Hi. The problem is you don't care if they die or not, so I can't take your opinion as anything. <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat. Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself. But if we do that, the children will die. What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. Just turn it off. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? Yeah, but causing more senseless death is not going to help. Don't go dragging us into your revenge. Kamaru has nothing to do with this. That's right. There's no reason to kill them. You don't have to be a part of this one bit. No need, no reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request. Oh, God damn it! what? To get Miss Komaru to want revenge, I needed help from her parents. Oh, my God. <sighs> now, come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. You too, mom and dad. Are you serious? The climax is gonna start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. <laughs> what? What do you mean, revenge? Are you ready for this? Take a body break. Get a list of insults ready for Monica. <laughs> Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair, unable to suppress the urge to kill? I don't know. Then I'll show you! Game, stop overselling it. Uh... 
Oh, it's, it's unfor oh, it's a TV. Was there a camera? Oh, damn, are they hung? Says Komaru Makoto. That she's Komaru Ma Naegi. What? More bodies again? You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. After all this, you're still showing off, killing adults? How crazy are you? Komaru. Well, obviously that's her parents. Although it'd be hilarious if she was like. Those aren't my parents. You got the wrong people. She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Well, with a remarkable precision, too. before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. <laughs> Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole okay, life. Okay, game, I've got to stop playing. You weren't supposed to go for two freaking hours. Jeebus. Just something like writing the killer's name. <gasps> Me and Makoto killed her. Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I wonder if that is her parents. I mean, it, th there's no reason to think it couldn't be because she, the um, Junko captured me and them at the same time, so they should have been in the city. I played with the bodies of your family like toys. And now you want to kill me, right? No, wait! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so <laughs> sure about that. Oh yeah, now you think she's telling the truth. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Also, shouldn't she know if that's her parents or not? Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Now, are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you. That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Destroy that controller and finish it! Get I'm not off. destroying it. I've I've sunk way too much time not into it. for your sake, or your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. Game, stop asking. It, Jesus. It's fine. Kamaru? You want me to destroy it that much? I'll do it. I said hold on. Calm down and think carefully. Come. Shut up! <laughs> Oh, poor Komaru. No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't give a damn. Komaru? Don't go. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I, I can't become like Makoto. You're gonna apparently become his exact opposite. This is all determined from the very start. 
The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Well, what if she actually does become the new ultimate despair? I this whole time I've been assuming that she'll refuse. But I mean, it wouldn't be impossible for that not to happen. This is interesting. I guess I'll stick with the white one. I don't know if it makes a difference. <laughs> 